What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with an Achievement Walkthrough for Smart Moves. This game released onto the Xbox October 9th, 2020 for a price of $4.99. It's a really easy puzzle game and I'm going to run you through all the levels to get you all the achievements. It should take about 45 minutes. When this game first released, it was only 1,000 gamer score. Now it's up to 3,000 gamer score. The extra achievements are just for killing snakes and opening chests, which happen naturally. That's what you're going to be doing throughout the whole game. But we can actually get all of them done in the first two levels. So I'll show you how to do that as well. They also just released a Windows 10 stack of this game. And you can use this walkthrough for that version as well. The only thing, there's a few levels that are a little different. They, uh, for some reason, they just don't work the same because of the spikes and whatnot. So... I have another video going over just those levels for the Windows 10 version, which I'll link below. So this is the first level. There's three chests. Don't open up all three. If you press Y, it will restart the level. You could just keep opening up the chest over and over again until you get the achievements. There's one for opening up like 10, and then 20, 30, 50. Eventually you have to do 99. So just keep opening these until you get 99. This way you just get those achievements out of the way and done with. So there we go. We got all the chest achievements. I skipped ahead here. And I already got 1270 out of the 3000. Almost half the gamer score already. Then you can get the last chest and finish the level. Now this is the second level and there's a snake right next to you. And you just have to walk towards him. Just go up and then to the right twice. And you just kill him 50 times and you'll get a bunch of achievements. And now we have 2270 out of 3000. So now all the other achievements are just for going through all the levels and completing the game. There's eight different areas and each area has eight levels. We have to go through and just get the treasure chest. That's how you finish a level. It doesn't matter if you kill all the enemies or not. I actually thought this game was a pretty cool puzzle game. It was a nice little challenge. You have to make the right move so you can kill the enemies. I had to open the treasure chest, this way he can come a step closer. And that's what the whole game is about, making smart moves. So I just brought him in closer by opening the chest. There we go, now we can finish the level. I'm not going to talk throughout this whole video, I'll just come back in if needed. But uh, it should be pretty easy and straightforward to follow. I went through the levels multiple times just to make sure that it was an easy way of doing it. If it's too fast at all, like I said, you could slow it down with the playback speed. And also, there's a Windows 10 stack where you can get the achievements again. Right now, it's at 1,000 gamer score. And they're going to add more achievements eventually. So it'll be up to 3,000 like this. But you can use this guide for it as well. But there's a few levels, like I mentioned earlier, that are a little different. So I have a guide just going over those few levels. So, just follow along and you'll get all the achievements and you can use this for Windows 10. Except for the few levels, just look at the other video. Real quick, I just wanted to point out these checkpoints here. You'll see them here and there. You can press Y to restart the whole level or press X to go back to a checkpoint.
There we go. We just finished the first area, the forest. We get an achievement. Now we can unlock the second area. You'll see the other areas start to open up. And now we can play the second area. We got a new enemy here, which is the spider. The spider, once you kill him, his body lays there so you can hit it again. And that helps you out with getting extra moves. There we go. We just completed tower. Now we're going to go to the next area, which is the village. Now we're going to do this strategy where we uh, bring the snake with us. Sometimes we'll have to do that here and there. We'll move with the enemy. Thank you. 
There we go, the village is done. Now we're gonna move on to the next area, which is the cave. In this area, we're gonna be dealing with spikes and you gotta move at the right time. These spike levels are the ones that have the most issues in the Windows 10 version. So make sure you check out the other video for these levels, especially this one right here. We're going to be dealing with these totem things here and there that multiply and you need to uh, destroy them sometimes to get through. This level is not that bad, but later on we have to like break through them.
There we go. Finish the cave area. Now we can unlock and start the next area, which is going to be a uh, desert. Now you can make your way through these uh, totems. You just gotta be careful. Just watch when they light up. You're gonna have to do this here and there throughout the game, but not that many times, thankfully. But it's pretty easy.
This level introduces portals. They don't really use them that much. There's not much to say about them. Except you can uh, only go through them once. On this level, sometimes the enemies can move a little differently. You shouldn't have a problem, but after you go through the portal, if you uh, can't do it the same way I did it here, you can check out my Windows 10 version. I did it a little bit differently on there. But they should move the same. I think it's just in Windows 10 they move a little differently. There we go. That's the end of the desert. We get an achievement, and now we can move on to the next area. Right here, which is castle. We get introduced to these new uh, bombs that we push. We use them to blow up chests that are in areas that we can't reach. This level can be a little annoying. The snakes are kind of random a little bit on how they move. So you might have to move around a little bit and get lucky how they line up. So you can kill a lot of snakes when you let them out.
There we go. Castle zone is done. Now for the next area, which is the ruin. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
There we go, that's the ruin zone. And now we just have one area left, which is the shrine zone. Now this level could be a little weird, because we're going to be killing them with the spikes, sometimes they move differently. I did it a different way on Windows 10, so if you want you can uh, check out that video if you're having trouble.
There we go. That's the end of the final area, the shrine zone. We get an achievement. Now it's going to bring us to this last level. Just bring the bomb into the corner and then push him up. And then grab the last chest and we're going to complete the game. And there we go. So that's it guys, that's the achievement walkthrough for Smart Moves, which is out now on Xbox and also on Windows 10. Thanks so much for watching, I hope this video helped you, leave a like if it did, and I'll catch you next time here at Achievement Land. <laughs>